I don't know how long it had been since these neighbors had even talked to each other. I think it had been about two years, maybe. And it started over the dumbest thing. It was just that stray cat. I mean, one of them thought it was theirs, and then it went over to the other porch there across the little field, the valley there. And the other farmer took it in. Each of them thought it was their cat. Every time they'd start talking, they'd start arguing about it. And then they just quit talking. So that when the traveler came through looking for work, one farmer said, well, yeah. You say you're a carpenter? I got some work for you. You see that house across this field here? That's my damn neighbor. You see this little ditch here in the middle? Oh, he calls that the creek. He dug that with his plow. He went up on the hill and changed the way the spring comes down. The creek. It's got a little trickle running through there. Well, if he's going to try to divide us up with that thing, I'd just as soon finish the job. I want a fence all the way across. I don't even want to have to look at him. Can you do that? And this carpenter said, well, yeah, I could do that. I would need a whole lot more wood, but I could get started with what you got in the shed there. You'd have to go into town. And by the time this farmer comes back, driving up that rutted road in his old truck full of that lumber, he looks out into that field where his new fence ought to be. And that carpenter has built a bridge out of his wood onto his land. And here comes his neighbor walking across his bridge onto his land, hand outstretched, big old stupid smile on his face, coming right up to his truck. And his neighbor says, you're, you're a brave man. I didn't think you'd want to hear the sound of my voice again. I just, I just feel like such a damn fool. Can you, can you forgive me? And this farmer finds himself saying, Ah, oh, hell, I knew that was your cat. Well, then he looks over and the, the carpenter's walking away. He says, hey, hey, I got some more work for you if you, uh, what? Carpenter says, you'll be fine. I'm needed elsewhere. I want to sing you a song about a man who was surprised. thought he had figured out all that he believed in and suddenly his beliefs kind of came alive on him. Fearless love Fearless love Fearless love Makes you cross the border at your church, they asked for volunteers to make a presence in the park. That's where the wicked plan to demonstrate and carry signs to set a spark. Someone behind you heaved a stone that struck the thin man behind his ear. So now there's blood upon his sign, which read, there's nothing here to fear. The wrath of God, somebody yelled, will punish all of those like him. But if you travel back 2,000 years, I swear you'd hear this all again. Back then they'd say, these soldiers walk on sacred ground. This land's our history and our home. They have no right to be around. They are the evil force of Rome. So just how strong this change of heart must be, that one that Jesus once described. Kindness to your enemy. Carry his pack an extra mile. When fearless love Fearless love, fearless love makes you cross the border. 
Your mind snaps back to where you stand. Your church is here to fight a cause. And at your feet, a fallen man whose head is cradled in his arms. And though his blood contains his death, and though the lines are drawn in hate, you drop your sign of Bible verse and help the wounded stand up straight when fearless love fearless love fearless love makes you cross the border oh yes the high religious still will scorn just like they did all that time back They'll say you helped the other side They saw you haul that soldier's pack But now how could you carry that man's sign? In your heart the choice was clear You didn't join the other side The battle lines just disappear When fearless love Fearless love, fearless love makes you cross the border.